This is Five on Your Side at Noon, focused on you. As we go on the air at noon, we are on the scene of what's being called a hostage situation and an active standoff with a suspect. This all began playing out at St. Charles City Hall about an hour ago. Five on Your Side has just spoken with the mayor of St. Charles, who tells us this is still a very active situation. Thanks for being here at noon. I'm Kay Quinn. Eyewitnesses are reporting a large police presence, including members of the SWAT team. Streets around St. Charles City Hall have been shut down. Five on Your Side's Justina Coronel is there live now with the latest. Justina. Okay, we're seeing many police officers on scene here. We actually just saw a SWAT crew enter into the garage, move out of the way so you can see a bit of what we're witnessing out here. Now, St. Charles Police confirms this is an active standoff in the underground parking garage, an active hostage situation happening right now. Now, I spoke to St. Charles City Mayor Dan Borgmeyer just about 15 minutes ago who said he got the first call 10 this morning and learned there was a court case today and the outcome was not favorable. After the court case ended, people saw a woman enter the underground parking garage, heard a scream, and then gunshots. Now, the mayor says both a man and woman are still in the garage, and officers are on scene trying to defuse the situation. They have locked the elevators to City Hall and all exits, and we're told that the man and woman are trapped on the bottom floor of the parking garage. Now, mental health professionals have been here on site for the past 30 minutes or so. Now, we're in the media staging area, and we're still waiting to learn more. I did ask the mayor about the connection between the man and woman. He said he still doesn't know. Of course, we're still trying to learn that information. Hopefully we'll have that information soon. Reporting live, Justina Cornell, five on your side. All right, thank you, Justina. We will continue to follow this breaking story on air and online at KSDK.com and bring you updates throughout the newscast. We're also following breaking news of a fire in North St. Louis. This is St. Louis Avenue and North Florissant. According to the St. Louis Fire Department, this was started by squatters in the building. Flames were shooting through the second floor windows and the roof when firefighters arrived. Crews also faced challenges with hooking into the water at that location. We will watch that story for you as well. Right now, Royal Banks working on repairs to two ATMs damaged in two different Missouri towns. Police first got a call to the University City Branch on Del Mar around 2 30 this morning. The front of the machine was torn off. Less than an hour later, calls came in about the Royal Bank on South Rider Trail in Earth City. Right now, we're working to learn if these two incidents are connected. Well, though, too, your weather first forecast is clear as can be outside right now, and it's warmed up again way above average. It does not feel like the middle of April as we continue to look at really clear skies here on the metro east side. For the most part, though, temperatures holding steady here uh, uh, right now at 80 degrees. We've already got up to 80 degrees on our trek for the upper 80s, very close to records, and even at this hour, we're already 12 degrees above average. Right now we have a north northeast breeze, so that's a little different. So it is a little drier. We're on the dry side of things as we continue to watch this system that is creating rain over the Rockies now. Out ahead of it, I'll show you a different picture, but right now it's quiet off to the west. In fact, temps still headed for the upper 80s, right around 88 degrees, but clouds will increase and Tuesday is our next weather alert day as we have severe weather potential. All types of severe weather remain possible here as we continue to look at today's chances off to the west. They may better determine ours. We'll monitor that and also talk about how that impacts us. Time out the most impactful time frames are your Tuesday for our severe weather coming up. All right, we'll see you in a few minutes, Gary. And with that threat of severe weather about 24 hours away, today's a good time to double check that you have everything you need. This afternoon, we're bringing you tips from the Missouri Emergency Management Agency to help brace for the potential severe weather. First, make sure your disaster kit is ready. That should include a flashlight with extra batteries, a first aid kit, medication, and cash. Next, check your yard for hazards. Tie down anything that could fly away. Finally, make sure all family members know how to respond after a storm by checking for damage, avoiding down power lines, and be sure to wear shoes. MoDOT crews shutting down some roads over the next couple of weeks in St. Charles and Warren counties. Here's what you need to know before you go. 64 westbound left lane between Route K and Prospect Road will stay closed daily from 6 to noon until Friday. The left lane heading eastbound in the same eight mile stretch will close from 7 p.m. to 6 a.m. daily Friday through next Thursday. And today on I-70, the eastbound left lane between David Hochul Parkway and Wentzville Parkway will close. That'll stay closed 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. through Friday. 
All this is part of a $2.8 billion Improve I-70 plan to widen the highway to three lanes. Actual construction is slated to begin next year and last until 2028. Changes for Metrolink riders, Rock Road's westbound platform is now closed for repairs. All red line trains will now use the eastbound platform. Expect delays. That closure is expected to last about four weeks. Starting today, the Missouri Department of Health and Senior Services will begin taking a second round of cannabis microbusiness license applications. You'll be able to apply online right through April 29th. Licenses will be distributed to the winners of a random lottery drawing in June. Licenses are expected to be issued in July. All right, check this out. Vlasis Park in Baldwin getting a whole new look. This is video from over the weekend as crews demolish the current playground to make room for a new one. At the new playground, you'll see inclusive features like a splash pad and a new sensory area. The new playground expected to open late this summer or fall. Tax day is here. Ahead, our Verify team breaks down what happens if you don't get your tax filing in on time. Former President Donald Trump in the hot seat as jury selection begins for his hush money trial. Ahead, the charges he's facing. And we are live at an active hostage situation at St. Charles City Hall. This is a live picture. A standoff is underway in the garage. Members of the SWAT team, a very large police presence on hand. This all started a little after 10 this morning following a court case, a hearing that had been held inside. And then once that was over, this situation began to develop. Witnesses have heard gunshots. We are expecting a media briefing at any moment. We have spoken to the St. Charles mayor. He says that this is still a very active situation. More when we return.